hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because today we're going to be doing this tiny, compact, easy to make Minecraft starter house. And we're making it with my favorite block in the game, the most breathtaking block in Minecraft, the spruce trap doors for the walls. It is so cool. Let me flip. Let's walk around this thing. Look at this. And you know what? Look at this foxy right here just hanging out right here. How you doing, fox? Oh, I'm taking a little nap. But check this out. This is so cool. So compact. So tiny. The front and back mirrored. We have a nice little crop farm in the front. We have a little fireplace here. We have a nice uh, little section over here just for keep some firewood. And this is so awesome. We also got some interior in there. But this would look so good. Just tucked away, nestled in a little forest somewhere. But what do you guys think? This is cool. I think it came out really awesome. But you know what? Let's stop talking. Let's start building this thing block for block. And here we go with the block palace. Super simple. We're bringing some wood in here. Definitely the spruce trap door is the star of the show. We're bringing some spruce along the way with some slabs, some stairs, the door. We're bringing some oak trap doors for windows. A couple of the dark oak logs just for added border around the edges for that little fencing. Bringing some dark oak for the interior of the roof, which is just a dark oak slab. Some dark oak stairs for seating on the inside. Also some fences, dark oak, and it's going to be looking pretty nice some a couple little cobbles along the way just so we can make that nice fireplace and some other little things but let's look at the dimensions and here we go with the dimensions super simple this is a little seven by five rectangle right here connected to a little five by five box frame little fireplace action in this corner and then we got these little indicators for our front and back fencing but for now let's start with trap doors and let's set this part up really quickly so let's actually start right here on this end it's a little easier so we're just gonna go on the outside right here don't put it on the inside wall because we're gonna need most of this space for the interior so right here on the outside let's just drop one two three four five six seven then we're gonna turn on this corner let's go one skip this one so this is two three four five so right here it's a little five but this is going to be our back door okay then we're going to turn this corner and put one flush on this side right here then for this angle we're going to go on the inside part so on the in not on the out because we can't technically because this is in the way right so we're just going to go one two three and four just like that then this one's going to go on the outside part so one two three four five then we're going to go back on the inside so one two skip that one three and this just leave that there for now <laughs> then let's come back on this side we're going to go back on the outer end so one here skip this one for the front door two well technically three four five and then on this one we're going to pretty much turn that corner just like so so one two three four these four right here on the inside these four are on the inside every other trap door is on the outside part so we can get to put stuff up against the walls and all of that so we're gonna get to that in a second but now what i want you guys to do is let's lift all of these trap doors up by three so this is already a one right so two and three let's go all the way around by three all right there you go everything's up by three now let's set up the front door so i'm gonna do one two three take these two out put that up we're gonna drop a door right oh actually it's better right here on the outside part so it's flush from this side so let's do it really quickly over here we're gonna go one two three take these two out drop that and our front door front door over here <laughs> perfect so that's mirrored that side to this side looking awesome now let's pop in some windows so i'm gonna pop in a window right here we're gonna put our oak trap door we're gonna drop it right on the inside like that so you can leave it open or closed just like that it's pretty cool over here we're gonna put two we're gonna put one here and one there and then put our trap doors underneath and close those up over here we're gonna put another one on the same spot mirrored from one side to the next so we're gonna put that there and then on this side, we're going to put three. So one, two, and three. And then put our trap doors underneath. Just like that. Now, next thing I want to do is let's line these up right here with our uh, stripped dark oak log. I'm going to put one here in the corner, pretty much right up against this wall. Give it a space of one and two. Let's put some fences right there and another log right here. Then give it a space of one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put another log, two fences, another log, one, two, three fences, and a log right here. Then let's just repeat this on this side. So one log on the corner, space of one, two, three, one log here, one, two, log, one, two, three, four, five, log here, two fences, and log again. All right, now let's start working on this roof. So I'm gonna go right on the top of that, and we're gonna go overhang that trap door by one right here. We're also gonna drop it down one extra on the corner bit like so. 
Then we're going to start going up right here. So we're going to go up gradually until we get to the center like so. And then we're going to come back down just like this until we meet back up here and drop it one more after that little bit. So it's looking like this for now. Perfect. Now let's take this all the way around. So it's going to go here and then we're going to come out overhanging it by one and get back to this corner. Then once we're here, we're going to drop this down again, just like we did on that. And then we're going to start coming up. So let's put a full uh, a, well, slab here. It's going to turn into a full block. So double everything up until we get to the center, which should be like that. And then we're going to come back down right over here. And then again, once you get to this part, you drop it down one extra. So it should look like this from this side and it should look like this from that side. Then let's come back this direction. We're going to repeat the same thing. Let's do it together though. We're going to go down one, two, three, four, come out one. Then we're going to drop it down right here on this line. Boom. And then we're going to come back up with a little gradual step pattern till we get to the center and then come back down like this. And then again, once you get to this little part, put one down like that. Now we're going to pretty much do what we did over there. Let's do it over here, but we got to do it a little bit differently because this is a little bigger, right? So we're going to take this down right here on this level, take it down by one, take it down by one over here as well. Then we're going to start going up from here. So double, double, double going up, double going up and double going up. That should match perfectly to that. So the way you know is like this. Let's take this one all the way down. That should connect perfectly to that line. And then this, take it all the way down and this should connect perfectly to that line. Look how cool, right? Then next up, let's grab our dark oak slab and we're just gonna bring it all the way around and then meet up here and then take this one all the way around like this and then meet up on that side. So you're pretty much filling all this in right now. Perfect, now that we have this, let's work on some little details now. Let's go over here really quickly. See this little part, we're gonna do this. Let's get rid of these two blocks. I'm gonna put two stairs, one here upside down and another one here upside down. Now, let's grab a little trap door. We're gonna put that right here on that side. So let's repeat this one on this side as well. So we're gonna go take, take those two out, upside down stairs on both and a little trap door on the tippy top. Now from the inside, this is what I'm gonna do. Come inside here. We're gonna put a lovely old window right here on this edge and that's going to look cool from the outside you watch we're also going to do another one here we're going to do another one here and here but we're going to do something a little bit different on the outside let me show you first though now for this little part right here this is what we're going to do let's grab our slabs i'm going to put slabs here here and there so it's going to look like that. We're going to have a little tiny little gap window, but it's not going to matter because right now we're going to bring in our campfire blocks and we're going to go one and two, one and two. You probably can't see nothing. Let's come this way. Let's go down all the way till we get to this point. So we're pretty much going to have a little overhang from this side and a little overhang from this side. But you know what? Let's take this out. There we go. A lot better. Then we're going to bring our trap doors and we're going to go down this line. So one, two, three, and then let's go again from this side. One, two, three three so we should be right over that log and then just bring this all the way down like that we're also going to bring our fences here one and two one and two then we're also going to make this look cool because we're going to get some gates and we're going to get the dark oak kind and we're going to drop this right on the tippy top so one and two and that should connect right here flush with that line then let's put some slabs going around here just so that looks a little bit better and finish up those gates right there but you know what? Let's repeat this same thing on the other side. And there you go, mirrored from front to back. And it's looking so cool. You can do anything really inside those little gaps. You can even uh, fence that in, make a little animal pen. You can make a little crop center here. You can have a little seating area. So many things, so many different things. But let's go right here and let's add this little fireplace. So right here, we're just gonna do it in cobble for now. Let's go up one, two, three. Get rid of that one, so four. Then I'm gonna get rid of this one and we're gonna go up an extra one in here two and three and that's perfect we're gonna put a little campfire and then we're gonna surround this in the best block in the game the trap door we're also gonna drop a little wall on the tippy top and that should look so good just like that and then just plop a stair right here then i'll put a little upside down stair on this one just to mess with it a little bit and if you want you could come in here and texture it with a little bit of smooth stone it's up to you though if you want to add that all right let's go on the inside let's take care of this little part right here but first off let me go ahead and just fill this all in with some cobble and mix a little bit of stone in here as well all right there you go we got this nice little floor set up so first thing that i want to do is let's do a little bit of a wall divider here so this is what i have set up right here in this corner to separate what's happening here in the kitchen with the rest of the house so step number one though let's bring in a smoker here 
Uh, and I'm gonna drop two right here. So we're gonna go one and two. And then I'm gonna get a stair of our cobble, and we're just gonna drop this one facing upwards, just like that. Really super simple. Then next up, this is what I'm doing. Let's grab our trap doors. I'm gonna go right here on the outside. One, two, and three right here. So it's gonna be on the outside part. Then I'm gonna go on the inside part here and go one and two. Take this up by three as well. So this kind of like pushes back a little bit. And then here I'm gonna go again, one and two and three. And then this one's gonna go on the outside part. So kind of, these are out, out, and then these two are in. So it gives you a nice little divider right here, which is really, really cool. Then back here, I'm gonna do an awesome little uh, bed design right here. Come with me. But first we're gonna get a log and go up one, two, and three. It's gonna go right to there for now. Just leave it just like that. Then I'm gonna grab uh, a bed. We're gonna drop a bed right here. Then we're gonna get a slab and go one and two with a slab right here and put another bed on top. Then I'm going with trap doors, one, two, and three, and we're dropping that up just like so. Then I'm gonna grab some signs. Uh, we can go with really any. I'm gonna go with a spruce one and we're gonna put some signs right here. So one and two, just like that, which looks really, really awesome. I love that look. Uh, and then uh, next thing, let's grab some scaffold. And I dropped a couple scaffold right here, just one and two, a little table. One of them has a little flower pot on it. And then we could put really any kind of flower. Let's go ahead and just put this lovely old little sapling right there. That's so cool. Uh, then next up over here, really easy. I got a composter. I got one on this side and one on this side. Then I filled these up to the tippy top so we can get a nice little bit of compost. Let's do this real fast. There we go. Once we got it all the way up, I'm going to put a little flower pot on this side, flower pot here. I'm going to grab some bamboo and we're putting them on each. And then on top, we're going to put a little oak and that looks awesome. Nice little plant action. Then in the center, it's going to go with a simple little bookshelf right here in the middle just to give you a little bit of detail. And so far, it's looking awesome, right? I love this thing. Now, over here, there's going to be a little bit of a workstation area. So I'm going to get some barrels. So let's get a couple barrels here. I'm going to go with, uh, actually, one of them is going to be a crafting bench. Let's put maybe this one into a crafting bench here. Then I'm going to go with a little upside down stair right here of our spruce. And then we're going to lay this down right about there. Then I'm going to get a couple more barrels and go one, two, and three. I'm going to have a little bit of a workstation here. I'm going to grab the trapdoor again, and we're going to lift this up here on this corner right here, just like that. Give us a nice little divider right there. And then we can bring stuff that you normally would put in a survival house that you need. Uh, maybe like a little grindstone, maybe also stone cutter. And then we can really put these anywhere. So I'm going to go maybe with a grindstone. Let's put a little grindstone here. A little stone coater down there and you can pretty much put anything anywhere but you know, something simple like that uh it's looking pretty good now it's time for the kitchen but before we do that let's drop a little bit also of carpet action here just to break that up a little bit i love that that looks so cool but the kitchen super easy to make let's go with some barrels i'm gonna go with a barrel here one here cauldron in the center then I'm gonna go with a couple more barrels, one, two, and three on the top, and that's perfect. And then next thing I wanna do, see, we can't put anything here or here, but I could drop a trapdoor here and here, and it looks like it's being held up like that. That looks awesome. Then we could drop a little bit of a uh, cold, uh, well, no, uh, what's it called? A brewing stand <laughs> on one side. And then we can even drop a little light here to so get a little illumination happening. Uh, and then maybe another little bit of a carpet right there, which looks really, really awesome. Now we can't really put anything around here. So um, I think this is perfect. That's just good. Right there, that's looking really, really nice. Now we do need a light on this side. So maybe a little light right there. And that is looking so good, so simple, right? Isn't that amazing? You could even, if you wanted to detail this up even more, you could even add more details over here, connecting those bits. And then we could do the same thing over here, connecting these bits right here. Actually, let's take this little piece out so we could go all the way down. And then we need grab the grindstone and we can put it back, but we can put it on this corner, which would just be, it'll be just as good. And we'll keep that nice little theme going on the tippy top right there. See, we got the nice little wrapping around look and we could do it on this side as well. So we could do it here. Oh, I can't do it there. We could do it there uh, and then maybe skip those if you wanted to keep stuff on top. I think we're fine with that one. Uh, and then we could keep it symmetrical by not putting stuff on that side, but definitely putting it on this side, which looks really good. And it also connects with this little logging on the side. What do you guys think? Now that the house is pretty much done, let's dress up the outside. So little things you can do is get rid of maybe those three. And we have these three stairs here. It looks like a little seat right here on the outside, which is super awesome. Other little things that I did as well was put like a little um, oak log here. And then I just surrounded this in campfires, which is really, really awesome. And just unlight them. So you can use this as whatever it is you're powering that, uh, 
fireplace inside. It's okay. It's Minecraft. It's nice. Uh, other little things you could do as well is give a little bit of coarse dirt, maybe add a little bit of puzzle, uh, a little bit of stony stuff like cobble, uh, maybe even some um, mossy in here will look pretty good. And just around that on the outside, adding lights here also helps a lot. Maybe one on each corner right next to those fences does the trick. On the other side, you could do the same thing as far as seating over here, and that's covered up by the other side, so you don't see a thing on that one. Over here, we can also add some farmland, and I think the best place to add the water would probably be right here on this corner, just waterlog that thing, and then we can grab just any old slab and just cover that little bit up. And you won't see it because now, once you do the farmland all the way around here, uh, if you use wheat, you definitely won't see any of that. So just plop that up, and it'll grow up, and you don't really see that. Or you can even, actually, you know what would be even probably better? You don't, and you, Well, this part you're never going to be able to use because of the trapdoor anyways but you can put the water underneath this guy right here and then you can still cover that up and then maybe this could be just a little bit of dirt on that side if you want to keep the dirty theme right and <laughs> you just put coarse dirt on this little corner bit and that should be just good to go right there and once you detail the whole place up, it'll look something like this, maybe. Oh, a little bit of coarse dirt, gravel, tall grass. All your crops are all grown up. Little seating area here with some lights on the outside. A little bit of berry bush action. Foxes sleeping in your front door right here, hanging out. Uh, and it's looking so awesome like this. Oh, man, I love it. What do you guys think? This is cool. I love the way this came out. This is super awesome. But let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys want to see any more houses like this. Little tiny little starter houses made out of trapdoors. I would love it. Maybe another the concept let me know down below i'm super excited and super inspired to keep on building but let me know what you think i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye